Question number nine. A circle has equation x minus k whole square plus y minus 2k whole square equals k plus 7 where k is a positive constant. Part A. Write down in terms of k these coordinates of the center of C and the radius of C. The question carries two marks. You are given the equation of the circle in terms of k. They want you to find the center and radius of the circle. If we compare this with the general form of the equation, the equation of a circle, y minus b whole square equals r square, the center is a comma b. So you can write it as k comma 2k because our a is k, b is minus 2. That's the center. Radius r square is this k plus 7. So your radius r is square root of k plus 7. Since it's radius, take only the positive value. You don't need to put plus or minus. That's it. It's so simple. Straight away, you can write the center and radius. Part B. Given that the point P of 2 comma 3 lies on C, show that 5k square minus 17k plus 6 equals 0 and then find the possible values of k. The question carries 3 marks. In part B, this point P of 2 comma 3 lies on the circle. They want you to show that this 5k square minus 17k plus 6 equals 0 and then they want you to find the possible values of k. So whenever they say a point lies on the curve, just replace x by x coordinate, y by y coordinate. So it will be 2 minus k whole square plus y coordinate is 3, 3 minus 2k whole square equals k plus 7. You simplify this, you will get the quadratic equation. a minus b whole square is a square minus 2ab plus b square. Here expand this a square minus 4 3 is so 12 2ab plus b square, which is 2k whole square is 4k square. And bring the k minus 7 also here, k plus 7. So it will become minus k minus 7 is equal. Simplify this, that's it. k square plus 4k square is 5k square. And we have minus 4k, minus 12, minus 16, minus 17, minus 17k. The good thing, the answer is here. Really. You just need to get this uh, equation. So we have 4 plus 9, 13, minus 6 is plus 6, minus 7 is plus 6. That's it. It is the same as this equation. Now we need to solve this. We know how to solve a quadratic equation. Solve, we will get two values of k. So k is 3 and 2 upon 5. That's it. We got two values of k already. Part C. The tangent to the circle at P intersect the x-axis at point T. Given that k is less than 2, Calculate the ex exact area of triangle OPT. The question got 5 marks. In part C, we are going to find the area of a triangle OPT. Our point P is given already. T is where the tangent at this point for the circle crosses the x-axis. So when a tangent or curve or any straight line, anything crosses x-axis, our y-coordinate will be 0. We don't know the x-coordinate yet. And O, O is the origin, 0, 0. So we need to find the triangle, area of a triangle OPT. So using these three points, construct a triangle and find the, three, uh, find the area of a triangle. But if you want to find the x coordinate of this point, you need to, you need to find the equation of the tangent. But given that k less than 2, so we have two k values that we derive in part b. We take the value which is less than 2. This is 3 greater than 2. This is less than 2. So k is this. So now we are talking about a tangent. Let's say the point 2 comma 3 is here. For example, I'm not going to draw the x and y axis. You don't need. When you draw a tangent, this is uh, the center. We don't know the center exactly all we know is center is k comma 2k k comma 2k 
So now the, uh, we need to find the equation of the tangent and then replace y by 0 in the equation so you can get the value of the x intercept. Let's say the, this is the x axis. So we are going to find the x intercept because t is the point where the tangent crosses x axis. So we need the equation of the line. How do we find the equation? First find the, let's say the center is like, I'm going to take it as a C1. We find the gradient of C1P and this radius should be perpendicular to tangent. So take the negative reciprocal of the gradient. So you will get the gradient of the tangent line. Then use any one of these points to find the equation. But we cannot use k comma 2k. We are going to use the value 2 upon 5 because it's given k is less than 2. So when you substitute here, your k is, your center is k comma 2k, 2 times this, which is 4 by 5. That's our center. And we have the point 2 comma 3. Find the gradient. Gradient is y2 minus y1, 4, maybe 3 minus 4 upon 5. 3 minus 4 upon 5 divided by x2 minus x1, 2 minus 2 upon 5. Find the value of this. That's the gradient of this line C1P. And take the negative reciprocal. That's the gradient of the tangent line. So this will be 15 minus 4, 11 by 5 divided by 10 minus 2 is 8 by 5, which is 11 upon 8. That's the gradient of this line C1P. So the negative reciprocal is minus 8 upon 11x plus C. That's the equation of this uh, tangent line. You take this gradient, find the negative reciprocal, change the sign, put it upside down. That's a new gradient. So how do we find this C? Using any one of these points. You cannot use this point because there is no x coordinate. And the purpose of finding the equation is to find the x coordinate. So we use, we are not supposed to use the center also because we always need to use a point which lies on the line. So we use 2 comma 3 here. So your 2 equals, uh, y coordinate 3 equals minus 8 upon 11 into 2 plus 6, which is minus 16 by 11. 3 plus 16 by 11 is our 6, which is uh, 33. 43, 49 by 11, 49 by 11, that's the value of C. Now we got the equation of the tangent already. Now in this equation, when you replace y by 0, you get the x coordinate of this point. When you replace y by 0, zero equals minus 8x by 11 plus 49 by 11. Multiply everything by 11, 0 equals minus 8x plus 49. So x equals 49 upon 8. That's the x coordinate 49 upon 8. That's it. We got the x and y coordinates of uh, this point t also. Now we are going to construct, draw a rough diagram to construct the triangle OPT, then we can find the area of a triangle. So our origin O is here and the point 2 comma 3, let's say our 2 here and 3 here, point P of 2 comma 3 and the T is uh, 49 upon 8 is 5 eighths of 46 eighths of 48, 6 point something, somewhere here. That's T of 49 upon 8 comma 0. Construct this triangle. Now we need to find the area of this triangle. The base is 49 upon 8. And the height is the perpendicular drawn from the third vertex to the base. So this is the y coordinate 3. This y coordinate 3. So the area is so simple. Half base times height. That's the area. So you can write it as 49 times 3 is 120, 147 divided by 16 centimeter or whatever square units. That's the area. That's it. 
there is no marks for this diagram but i always suggest my students to draw a little diagram rough diagram which will make your life much easy question number 10 Owen wants to train for 12 weeks in preparation for running a marathon. During the 12 week period he will run every Sunday and every Wednesday. On Sunday in week 1 he will run 15 km. On Sunday in week 12 he will run 37 km. He considers two different 12 week training plans. So part A in training plan A he will increase the distance he runs each Sunday by the same amount. Calculate the distance he will run on Sunday in week 5 under the training A. The question carries three marks. Question number 10, that's really a long question and the marking scheme has not been released by PSNet XLX. So I'm going to try this question. If there is any mistake or if you think of any better way of doing it, feel free to let me know in the comment section. Okay now, don't look at the question as a whole. We are going to break it down into smaller, smaller questions. So in week one, in week one, he covers 15 kilometers. And in week 12, week 12, he runs 37 kilometer, 37 kilometer. That means he's like gradually increasing his distance. Now, uh, if you look at part A, he came up with the training plan A. So every Sunday, he is going to increase. First, in, in week 1, he runs for 15 kilometer. Then in the subsequent weeks, he is increasing his distance by the same amount. That means, let's say, second week, he runs for 15 plus D kilometer. And the third week, he is going to add another D, so 2D, 15 plus 4D, 5D, etc. So here, it will be 15 plus 11. If you look at this, this is arithmetic sequence. 3 Third week he is, he is going to cover 15 plus 2D. Fourth week it's 3D. Fifth week it's 4D. So twelfth week it's supposed to be 15 plus 11D. So you can find the common difference easily. 15 plus 11D is our last term. So bring the 15 here. 11D equals 37 minus 15 is 22. So D equals 2 kilometer. That means he is gradually in, he is increasing 2 km every week, every Sunday. So D is 2 km. But the question says, they want you to find the, find the distance in week 5. So week 5, they are talking about 5th term here in this arithmetic sequence. 5th term, it's, it's supposed to be A plus 4D. So 5th term A5 is A plus 4D. The first term plus 4 into D. D is uh, the common difference. So this will be 15 plus 8 is 23 kilometer. That means he runs 23 kilometer in week 5. That's it. That's the answer for part A. Part B. In training plan B, he will increase the distance he runs each Sunday by the same percentage. Calculate the distance he will run on Sunday in week 5 under training plan B. Give your answer in kilometer to one decimal place. Okay, now in part B, he starts with 15 kilometer in week 1. And week 12, he covers 37 kilometer. But, by, but this time, he is not increasing his distance the same amount every week. Instead, he is increasing it by the same percentage. So the moment the question say if there is some initial value, initial this condition or the value, increase by same percentage every day or every week or every month you need to think of this uh, geometric series of com compound effect compound accumulation so second week he increases his distance by let's say x percentage so second week in week two that's the second term he is going to cover 15 kilometer plus he is increasing his distance by x percentage, 15 percentage of this x, 15 percentage of this x. So you take 15 as a common factor, you will have 1 plus x upon 100 which is 1.01x. That's the distance covered by him in week 2. And in week 3, he, he covers this distance plus, in week 3, he covers this distance plus 
again the same x percentage of this distance. So x percentage of this distance in week 3. So if you take this as a common factor, you will have 15 into 1.01x into, if you take this whole thing as a common factor, you will have 1 plus x upon 100, which is same as 1.01x. Uh, so you can write it as 15 times 1.01x whole square in week 3. In week 4, it will be 15 times 1.01x whole cube. So that's a geometric sequence. So here it will be 15 times 1.01x. In week 3, 15 times 1.01x whole square, etc. So that's week 12. So the actual distance covered by him is 37, but you can write this as 15 times 1.01x to the power 11. Because for second term you have power 1, third term it's square, fourth term it's going to be 3. So twelfth term it will be to the power 11. So this, this is how you do it. Whenever they say the, the initial value is increased by a certain percentage, you need to add. If it is decreased, you put it as 1 minus, 1 minus. So you, instead of 1 plus x upon 100, you can write it as 1 minus x upon 100. Okay, so look at this. So this is our common ratio. You can rewrite this as 15, 15R. 15r square, etc. The last term is 15r to the power 11. That's uh, that's a geometric sequence. Now they want you to find the fifth term. That means the distance covered by him in week 5. Or in other words, the fifth term of this geometric sequence, it will be a r to the power 4. If it is 5, the exponent will be 4. a is the initial value times 1.01x to the power 4 or to the power 4 but you need to find the value of x so you can substitute here or you need to find the value of r to the power 4 when you equate this you can find the value of r 15r to the power 11 is 35 sorry 37 r to the power 11 is 37 upon 15 so you find R and substitute here, so you get the distance of the fifth term or the distance covered by him in week 5. So the value of R is, it's 1.08554 etc. So find R to the power 4 multiplied by 15, that's the fifth term. So it's 20.829 but they want the answer in one decimal place. So it's 20.8 kilometer. That's the distance covered by him in week 5. Now Owen will also run a fixed distance x kilometer each Wednesday over the 12 week period. Given that x is an integer, the total distance that Owen will run on Sundays and Wednesdays over the 12 week will not exceed 360 kilometer. So there are two questions. Find the maximum value of x if he uses training plan A or find the maximum value of value of X if he uses training plan B. The question carries 5 marks. Okay, now this time he is not only running on Sundays, he has uh, he is covering X kilometer in every Wednesday as well. So in Sundays he is following the traveling uh, the training plan A. So that's arithmetic sequence and we got the the value of d already is 2 so this uh, 37 kilometer covered by him in week 12 but he is running sunday wednesday sunday wednesday but every wednesday he covers x kilometer the same amount every week so for 12 weeks he covers 12 x kilometer in wednesdays but Sunday we need to find the sum of sum of all uh, the terms, the distance covered by him. So this arithmetic sequence, when you find the sum of this arithmetic sequence, there is a formula n by 2 into a plus l. 
So this total distance covered by him in Sundays and the total distance covered by him in Wednesdays together cannot be more than 360 kilometers. He can run only 360 km according to his uh, this plan. So they want you to find the maximum value of x. So here the number of terms is 12. So we replace n by 12. The first term is 15, last term is 37. And find x. That's it. So it's 6, 6 into 6 into 30, 40, 52 plus 12 x. Maybe you can take it as equal to 360. So find x, 12x is 360 minus 312, 300, 312, 360 minus 312, which is uh, 48. So x equals 48 upon 12 is 4. So x equals 4 kilometer. So he can run 4 kilometer every Wednesday so that he can cover 360 kilometer in 12 weeks. This is not supposed to, so that's the maximum value of x. If he runs more than 4 km, it will exceed 360. So x is equal to 4 km is the answer. Now, if he follows the training plan B, the distance covered by him follows a geometric sequence. So we need to find the sum of, uh, sum of all these terms and then 12x, the distance covered by him on Wednesdays in 12 weeks. So it's 12x and we need to find the sum of all the terms of this geometric sequence. So we need to find the common ratio. I think we got the common ratio in part B. We, we are going to use the common ratio. If the common ratio is, uh, there are two formulas, a into r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1. If our r is great, common ratio is greater than 1. If the common ratio is less than 1, flip them. 1 minus r to the power n divided by 1 minus r. So we are going to use the common ratio to find this uh, sum of uh, this series, geometric series. Then both equal to adding them should not exceed 360. That's the maximum distance he can cover in 12 weeks. So we need to find the maximum value of x. So the r is... 1.086 use that here a into the r is greater than 1 so we use this formula 1.086 to the power n n is the number of terms minus 1 divided by r minus 1 you don't need to round the figure out so you can use the actual value so this value is 294 point something 294.185 let's uh, take it as 2 maybe 1, 9, plus 12x equals 360, find x, make x as a subject. So the answer is 5x equals 5.48 something, something, something. But in the question, if you read the question carefully, it says x is an integer. So if it is 5 point something, something, take it as 5. Even the answer is, let's say it's 5.56 something. We are not rounding the figure, don't take the 6, because if you substitute here x as 6, your value will exe exceed 360. It is not supposed to exceed 360. So always take the take this uh, integer, this 5, though the number is more than 5, do not round the figure to 6. So x equals 5 kilometer. So that's the maximum value of x.